Welcome to Tender Heart. In today's video, we're going to talk about a Tinder date that takes a horrifying turn after a guy does this. Before we continue this story, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you get updated every time we post new videos. With that said, let's dive right into it. Digital technology, especially smart devices, have transformed many aspects of our society, including how people meet each other and establish relationships, romantic or otherwise. Attitudes towards dating apps and services have grown progressively more positive in recent years. No matter how convenient it may be, there's still a big difference between online applications and personal interactions. Warina Wright learned the hard way about the risks of meeting someone online she thought she'd been matched a man named Gable Tosti. She thought he was a great guy and looked like Sam Winchester, a character in Supernatural, one of her favorite TV shows. But there was so much she couldn't know. Their first date turned out to be a true nightmare, as with many young people these days. However, what started out as a fun and exciting match quickly turned quite sinister. Wright was a resident of New Zealand and was staying on Queenland's Gold Coast for a wedding. After a few conversations, Wright and Gable decided to meet. Initially, they went to a nearby bar for drinks. It was really going well between the two of them, and Marina was definitely enjoying her time away from home. Afterward, the pair headed back to Gable's place, but what exactly transpired after they arrived at his apartment was very unexpected. Gable had a habit of audio recording his dates for some reason. At some point, they got into a heated argument about something. Gable told Warina that she wasn't his kind of girl, and he asked her to leave. As the recording went on, the argument became more and more obvious. You are lucky I haven't chucked you off my balcony, you goddamn psycho little bitch. Who the fuck do you think I am? Warina's gasps for breaths and faint apologies could be heard in the audio file. Around 3 a.m. that night, Gable called his father and asked him to pick him up saying he met up with a girl for a date, they got drunk, and she started getting aggressive, and then something unexpected happened. Five hours later, Warina was found lifeless at the foot of the building. A cording forced her onto the balcony, locking her outside on the balcony, where she had no other means to escape other than to attempt to climb down the balcony onto one of the other floors. Crown Prosecutor Glenn Cash told the court and claimed that he believed she might have jumped off the balcony. In trial, for Warina's case, the prosecutor's alleged Tosti had choked Wright, trapped her, and made her so afraid she felt she had no choice but to escape at whatever cost. Tosti's neighbor, Gabrielle Collier Wiedner, who lives in the apartment below, testified that she was woken by something that sounded like furniture being thrown around the apartment above her. Before she heard a woman repeatedly shouting no, in a matter of seconds I saw the person fall from the balcony above mine, her witness statement said. The jury of six men and six women retired on Monday and spent four days deliberating before reaching a verdict of Gable not guilty of murder or manslaughter. But certainly there was something that happened that made Warina desperate to escape. Dating apps might get people connected online easily, but they are not always safe. I hope you like this video. If you do, then feel free to share this video with your family and friends. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.